All right, welcome back. Tasty Thursday now, Rome's Pizza. We got to admit it, one of our favorites here. <laughs> Ken Weta and Kim Klump are here with us. Nice to see you guys Thank again. You. Nice Thank you. Thank you for having us. I think I should get the disclosure out of the way, huh? <laughs> I eat here all the time. <laughs> I love okay, tell us about what you're going to do. We're going to do two things here, but we're going to talk about right. salads too, and can, because the salads are great. I know, I know you like the salad, uh, chef salad. salad but I've been what I brought today is I'm going to make our Navona salad, okay. which is our number one selling salad. Yeah. I've gone ahead and put our organic green fields in right. and our sun dried tomatoes. So all I need to add is our gorgonzola cheese. Right, perfect. Yum. Everything made to order up there too. Oh, oh yes, you come oh in. yes. We have some, some toasted some almonds. Toasted almonds. There we yes. go. Yes, and then. Our homemade vinaigrette, herbal yeah. vinaigrette. Yeah, give us a secret on the homemade. This oh. is uh, love, right? ancient Chinese yeah. secret. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients are love at Rome's. Okay, and there it is. That's, that's it, it. Right perfect. there in the that's bonus the number salad. One seller. Yes, sir. Okay, and, and if salads are one thing, but let's get to the <laughs> the good stuff. The pizza is the menu is extensive. Up oh here. yes. Ken, what are you gonna make for us? Just the one. Well, I'm gonna make a couple pizzas today. Okay. Uh, we'll make one of our more popular pizzas called a tomato duet. Yeah. It's kind of a uh, uh, start with some sliced tomatoes instead of sauce. Right. Then we we'll put a little bit of mozzarella. Cheese on there. That's the way to do it. My wife gets this one just about every table Friday. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, fine. she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> So I'm going to mess your table up a little bit with some cheese. No problem. So we're going to put some cheese on there, and then we're going to put some sun-dried tomatoes. We're going to have two different kinds of tomatoes on here. Ken, how do you come up with this? Have you just been experimenting with different things? And I mean, the, to the tomato duet, you think about it, no sauce, but then the tomatoes on it, and yet it's, you know, flies out the door. And people oh, yes. Love it. Is it very, just very something that you just pizza. keep thinking, what can I put on things? You, well, one of our stores in San Antonio, which is the actual founder of Rome's yeah. Pizza, he comes with all these ideas. His right. mind is constantly ticking, and he, he lets us know what, what new ideas work and, you know, what ones don't, and we always come with new menu items. Yeah, so true. we actually just came with new menu items uh, last week. So. Okay, so you get, you do the mozzarella, and then, and then, and then some sun-dried tomatoes, right. and then we put a little bit of feta cheese on there as there well. There we go. Yeah, this one really gives a little bit of little flavor. Bit more. It a little bit more. Very salty <laughs> cheese, so it kind of brings out the flavor in those tomatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep on going. Keep on. There we go. Right. And then we put a little bit of basil. Just a little bit. That Just really brings little. it out, too. This is oh, yeah. kind of a light pizza, too. Very light pizza. It's vegetarian, so... Yeah. We have a lot of vegetarians here in Austin that love this pizza. Okay. We'll top it with just a little more mozzarella. Of course, you put a little. And then more what gives it a nice little maybe. touch at the end the is I'm going to spray a little bit of water on our crust here. Uh huh. And I'm going to put some sesame seeds on there. There we go. And yeah, it's, um, it, people can get it without it as well, but this really brings out a lot of flavor in that. I crust. always talk about the crust being like no other because oh, yes. you know, we're pizza addicts in the Willis household. And, <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, the, you guys do, you, there's a little secret to it. There's a little milk and a little. There's a little bit of milk, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, yeah. yeast, and of course the flour. Okay, let's get and to the second pizza okay. because I don't want to run out of time. <laughs> oh, yeah, me either. Yeah, let's get this one out of here. Yeah, too. this one, also, this, also a little different, right? This was a very different pizza. We've actually won a national award with this pizza I want right. to make here. This is called our Millennium Three. Okay. We start with the basil pesto as right. a base. Then we're going to put some rosemary roasted new potatoes. That's potato. a special basil too, right? Yes, and it is. Tell us how you make that. Well, it is just basil, pine nuts, olive oil, and it's mixed up. Okay. So. And you're putting a little. Simple. That's that's topped with. This is some rosemary roasted new potatoes. There we go. Okay. Yeah, very good. Very different. You won't find a lot. I don't think you find any places that put potatoes yeah. on pizza. No kidding. That's so. Yeah. So we okay. do that. And then. And then, then we're going to put a little bit of spinach. This is a sautéed spinach. With that sauteed in a garlic. There we go. So, okay. And there. as you're continuing this, I just want to add too. There oh, sure. is pizza. There is sandwiches. There are calzones, uh -huh. pastas. Paninis. We just started um, selling paninis, also. Chris. Sean, feel your yeah, paninis too. Paninis, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Sean, you stop and get the. the Almost. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> we got a little bit of Greek, Everybody a little bit of Middle Eastern. Right so yeah, all Italian. kinds of stuff. All, all wanna, kinds of stuff. As you're throwing that on too, tell us about the atmosphere there, Kim. The, it's different coming into Rome. It's, well, it's family owned. Family and, owned. My parents are there every Friday night. Yeah. Hi, mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people just seem to like our environment. It's friendly. It's laid back. We're customer oriented. Right. And I've got a couple monsters. So kids eat free too. I, br <laughs> I mean, I bring free. them in. I yes. take my yes. two and yes. four year old in there. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And Wednesdays. Eat. Kids eat free. Uh -huh. a purchase of an adult entree. Yes, sir. Yeah. So after that spinach, we'll put some uh, roasted chicken on there. Chicken breast. And then we're going to top it with some gorgonzola cheese, which Perfect. is a blue cheese. Very good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So let's start with that. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of mozzarella. There we go. And Throwing this on. is our Millennium 3. Very popular pizza. We can't even keep this in the store. Hardly. That one's an award winner. Let's put the map up real quick in case people don't know where it is. You guys have been open three years, and this years. one is, what, 9225 West Palmer. Yes. Great location, great pizza, anything you can get up there. And again, the atmosphere is is fantastic. We thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Romespizza.com is the website, website yes. and it's 996-8890 is the phone number. That's your Tasty Thursday. Thanks again for being here. Thank We're back.